Janie Wyatt here in just a, in just a minute to tell us a little bit about uh, bed turns. But I want to ask Janie a couple questions while we're finishing this up. What was your earliest exposure to, to needlework and, and making quilts, Janie? John, ever since I can remember, I have been seeing my mom and my sisters um, either make dresses, mom mainly making quilts. I am the youngest of 13 children, and there are four boys between me and the next girl, so all of my siblings are, were pretty much old enough to be my parents. And so they all took responsibility for making me look good. But um, my mom would always, well, she had one of those old-fashioned treadle sewing machines. And um, at the time, well, of course, we just thought that that's, that was what people sewed on. And I thought it was just fun watching her foot go back and forth, up and down, and that machine make that singing noise. It, it was a singer. And uh, she would have us kids winding the bobbin, manually winding the bobbin. And the bobbin was about maybe two inches long. But um, I always wanted to be able to press that foot. And I was just so little that I couldn't sit in the chair and my foot reached the pedal. So I just got down on the floor and made that machine make that noise however I could. And if mom caught me, boy, was I in trouble because the thread would get all knotted up and then she'd have to figure out how to make the machine work again. But um, that's been my experience to see my mother um, piece together old dresses and shirts that we as kids had worn. And there was so much uh, fun covering under a quilt that had your clothes in it and you look through the batting and you could see the print of your um, dress and we talk, oh I had that for Easter when I was whatever age and uh, it was always fun and I never thought I'd become a quilt maker. I like, uh, at that time I was like a lot of people who I meet nowadays that said quilting is for old people. And I don't consider myself old as they seem to equate old with quilting. But then I saw all the beautiful patterns that my sisters of Sisters of the Cloth were making and I wanted to be a part of that. So here I am excited about our, our art form and anxious to tell you about how, how all of this beautiful stuff came to be. Okay, we will start with a quilt by Mary Curry.